No, it's 11.22 a.m. And it's almost Christmas time, so... I'm gonna be Christmas in like... 40 minutes. So I tried to, uh... Uh... I came back from the comic store today. And I wanted to tie to one more video before... Uh, Christmas time, since I got this stuff here. I could wrap it up and talk about them. Uh, for this video. So, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start by... Just doing some, I'm gonna wing it, I'm just kinda go with that flow. Uh, just kinda, I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna do a bunch of tapping and finger tricks. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. To start off with, okay? So, I'm gonna put this mic in the middle of the screen so that I can tap on it right in front of the camera. Started, I am going to draw a couple of Reiki symbols on you, Tomo.
Okay, should I get started? <clears throat> was an amazing series. It was one of the few um, horror story, horror, horror comics that I had in my in my um, repertoire. It's a uh, like cosmic horror, sort of like an interdimensional. itself was really intriguing to me. Also, the main character wears a mask, um, like everybody does today, but he has, for some reason, something to do with um, trash. He, uh, he liked to, he was compelled to dig in the trash, and it turns out he was actually trying to build this barn for some reason. He was compelled to do it something living inside of the barn. Anyway, it was spooky and it was a freaking rad mystery. A lot of fun with this one. So, it's uh, sad to see the ending, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad it's ending because I am running out of money. <laughs> I don't have that much money and I shouldn't be spending it on, on this, but I can't help it. I gotta, I can't help it. No regrets though. But since it's ending, that's more money, more money that I'm not spending right now, so that helps a lot. I actually got, like, the second issue, and I thought it was so good. I had to go back and watch to go get the rest of it. And I got the director's cut, which was a second printing. I was very lucky that it came out. I almost missed it. Uh, and uh, I hear there's going to be a TV series based on this. So that will be something to watch one day on my other channel. My reaction channel. Okay, let's put this one in.
That's all you need. This is much easier to do than last time. Usually I am, I'm walking around the camera, but having it face me actually is a lot easier to do this with the mic is on the stand. Last time I did this, I tried to do it with, you know, while I was um, holding the mic, that's freaking so hard. This is a lot easier. to do this on camera, but I'm trying to, I am determined to do it. That is a, um, I used to do it vertically, but now I try it horizontally. I think it works better, it doesn't grip too much, so when you pull it off, it won't tear the plastic. Savage Avengers. more of a DC person, but this is a very awesome series that's still going on, that's still going today. It's not part of the main series of, there's always like a main story going on, this is not part of that. The Savage Avengers one is my, sort of my uh, go-to for a bloody good time, literally. If you like a lot of blood and guts and stuff, this one is the one to go for. It's the most, um, I like having a variety of different stories, right? And I'm reading each one very different from the previous one. So, this one here is all about blood and guts. And when I want to see something visceral and crazy and savage, uh, this is the one I go to. When I'm in the mood for something, you know, really crazy. Like, a, I don't know, Wolverine killing 200 people. Or, um, Oh, if you want to see Conan the Barbarian using Wolverine as a weapon, this is the one for you. He literally grabs Wolverine and just swings around like a ragdoll and uses his, uses his claws to kill him. <laughs> That's fantastic. Or using Venom, I think, as a... Conan using a Venom sword. Like, what does he want to do? Venom, like, combined with... Conan, with Bar Conan the Barbarian and like, they fuse together you know like a symbiotic relationship whatever that thing is like like, like, like Venom you know, Venom but like, with Conan anyway uh, and they like created like the Venom sword also very cool and uh you wanna see Doctor Strange and Doctor Doom working together with Conan the Barbarian and um to take down another uh, cool and goth and all that 
I mean, what, what, what other what other what other comic are you gonna see the two of them working together, right? And there was also Doctor Strange becoming, uh, I forgot what it was called. Um, but Iron Man had given Iron Man made a suit for for Doctor Strange, and I, and that was that was something unique to this one too. And in the next this next um this next part. No, I'm not. I'm not sure when it happens, but I'm. I haven't read the last couple issues. I'm. I'm, I'm getting to it. I kind of like to pace myself. And the Juggernaut is about to join them. And Moon Knight. What the heck? That's amazing. Just I love how there's a constantly rotating roster of main characters. There's never one team. It keeps changing. But there were a couple of constants. There is uh, Conan the Barbarian. Mostly him, and he keeps and then. And then other characters tend to make guest appearances. But when I say guest appearances, they, they don't show up for like one issue. Sometimes they stick around for many issues and actually come back later. I think that's really cool. So no one really gets... Everyone gets to do something. Everyone gets a little bit of spotlight. And there's no traditional guest roles. So you never know how long someone's going to come and stick around. And you never know when the team, the team will slightly change up and stuff. Wolverine, he, Wolverine is, of course, he is the savage king, so he, of course, comes back constantly. But anyway, Conan the Barbarian is the main character of that series. It's fantastic. Just a bloody good time. Everything I wanted, in it, and, and, and it doesn't try to be anything else but what it is, right? It's fantastic. It knows what it is, and it does it well. Sounds kind of cool. I also have the receipt that I have from the, the store. I always put these in there. In the issue that I bought it in. Or one of the issues of something that I bought it in. Sort of a record for me, you know? It's like a breadcrumb trail that traces back all the stuff I got. Once again, a physical copy or something, you know? Um, this next one is Patriotica. Patriotica? I only got it because it was, um, I had a, um, it was, uh, it was on the shelf and, well, I can't, I actually came up with a couple extra bucks that could spend on something, so I bought this one. It turns out it's actually a Kickstarter project that was um, made into a actual comic, and it's pretty cool. I might actually keep going with it.
I really like that sound. That sounds great. Okay. This is actually a lot easier than I only have to do one piece of tape. I can't find issue number one. No. Oh, that's number three right there. I never read it. I never read it yet. But I like what I see. <laughs> I like what I see so far. Okay. Now this is King in Black. Just came out. No, yeah, I think it just came out. And I once again I only I'm not I don't get too many Marvel stuff, but when I I will if it catches my eye and this looks freaking amazing. There's a tie-in from the Savage Avengers into this. That's how I found out about it. So tie-ins work, man. I mean, they get you to notice other, you know, other series going on. Right now, there's a major event going on called the King in Black, who is now the king of all the symbiotes, because the Venom species is from another planet, and this is their king. I think this guy here with this smile on his face. I will get issue one later, but I, I have number two right now. I don't I never watched. I didn't read number one yet. I heard there's a major death in it, but the uh, the chaos and whatnot looks so cool that I kind of had to check it out. I wouldn't usually do that, but I make an exception for a couple of these. So that's not. I don't know much else about it right now, but the art is beautiful. They're really going all out for this one. I like how. Um, they, I like that. Marvel is kind of going for this. No, wait, I'm sorry. That's Marvel. Oh, never mind, forget it. <laughs> forget that. DC is the one doing the death metal thing. But if this kind of looks like death metal to me. But someone's popping fireworks right outside there, somewhere nearby. And the last one of the night is oopsie, Spawn number 313. And that is indeed a Christmas cover made by Tom McFarlane. No, not Tom McFarlane. But it is a, this is a Christmas cover for the issue. And there's usually a couple of different issues, but I had to get that. Creepy demon freaking Santa. Looks like there's something on his back. I think I see a dagger in his head. Like a hand coming out. Looks really cool. Like a dark Santa Claus version of Spawn. Anyway, Spawn is getting really good right now. When I was a kid, I... I had bought a couple of spawn issues. I was really into the look of it all, even though I didn't know what was going on. Uh, but now, now later on, when I come back, when I've come back into this whole comic book world, I got back into it. And then at first, it wasn't. It was okay. I, I, I just it wasn't that good. I got. A, I, I stopped collecting them. And boy, after number th issue number three hundred, it looked like he was actually going in an interesting direction with the story. And I've been collecting it ever since. So I, I'm at 14 now. So this is... I've been collecting it for the last 14 issues. So 13 issues. And I... Right now the covers are the shit. Everybody's trying to collect these. On the site I buy comics from. Or I used to buy from. 
they said limited one per customer because I guess because it was that hot of an item. So um um it's kind of been I kind of like the fun of that though. It's the thrill of trying to get it before everybody else does. And with the spawn um no never mind uh anyway covers are awesome and story is pretty damn nifty cool plus this series is only three dollars which is very cheap and cheaper than cheaper than most because they're more less than like four bucks at the very least And that is it. I think I will. I think I'll end the night with a couple of more um, finger and tapping movements before I end this video. I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.